Hello and welcome to Taking Creations. Today we'll be baking a homemade pear pie. The ingredients you'll need are salt, sugar, five pears, flour, nutmeg, lemon zest, and lemon juice. A pre-made pie crust. I'm using the same recipe that I used for the pie crust in the cherry pie video. I'll link that below should you need it. Divide it in half and refrigerate it. And you also need butter. The utensils that you'll need are a big bowl, a fork, half a cup, a tablespoon, a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, a fourth of a teaspoon, a sharp knife, a small bowl. I don't have a zester so I'm using this side of my cheese grater and a plastic bag. With two tablespoons of flour already in the small bowl, add in the third tablespoon. Add half a cup of sugar, add half a teaspoon of nutmeg and a fourth teaspoon of salt. To zest the lemon, first wash it, then start grating it, only taking off the yellow pill. You don't want anything else but that because the rest is bitter. Once you have a teaspoon of zest, add it to the bowl. Mix to combine. The pear pie will taste similar to the apple pie, but the difference is that we're using nutmeg as the only spice and adding lemon zest. After it's all mixed, set it aside. Next, fill the pears. I'm using knives, so if you use a knife too, please be careful. I have a plastic bag here to catch the pills and for easy cleanup. With two pears already in the bowl, I decided not to slice one of the pears because I like the color. Slice the pear starting on the side, do it to all the sides, then you'll be left with the core, but you can slice whoever you like. Slice up the rest of the pears. With my pie crust already in the pie dish, add a layer of pears. Sprinkle the sugar mixture on top. Do the next layer of pears and then do the sugar mixture again until your pie is filled. Once the pie is filled, put the tablespoon of butter into cubes, then dot the pie. Edges. Fill the edges by pressing them together. Cut slits in the dough so that air can 